so what is up guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video i will going to show you how to use the lazy tool in path tool so i have here the basic shapes and all we're gonna do now is to add another layer at the top of our subject so the first tool that we're going to use is the path tool so if you are using a path tool i recommend to use a manga inker or a tapered inker so to start with we are going to reduce the opacity of our subject and then go to anchor and choose the path so let us start creating our mark let's put a mark right here and then align and extend create a line and then extend there you already have created a triangle shape so if you want to fill you go to compass and then choose fill and select the color and then press inside the triangle there So here's the thing, if you are working with the shapes that has a curve lines, just like this, all you have to do is to create a mark right here, and then put a mark right here, and then try to drag your lines where the curve is, is visible, and then try to adjust. There you already have created a curve line. Okay. Another curve line. Just like that. So if your line is having a pointed dip like this all you have to do is to tap the mark that you have created okay just like that okay so let's get going
So here is the final output that we have created using the path tool. So let us proceed using the lazy tool. So the next one is the lazy tool. If you are using a lazy tool, I recommend to use a solid fill and then we can create a very accurate line art as you can see there. But the trick here is we were just going to create a guide and then fill it inside. Okay, so follow what I'm doing here and let's get started. So now, let us compare the tools that we use. What do you think is better? The lazy tool or the path tool? You can comment down below and let me know your answers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.